There are over 450 species of mantis shrimp living all around the world. From having the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom, to boiling water from the speed of their arms, they are some of the most unique and interesting animals living in the ocean today. The mantis shrimp is fascinating. Many shrimp feed on tiny organisms or scavenge, while the mantis shrimp are predators. They manage to do this while still being relatively small, most often between 4 and 12 inches in length, although the largest found was 18 inches long. Mantis shrimp are beautiful creatures covered with vibrant, colored markings and unique looking eyes. Their eyes are most certainly one of the most exciting things about them. Human and most animal eyes are composed of millions of light sensitive cells of two different types. Rods, which are used to detect light and motion, while cones are responsible for colors. Human eyes have three cones, one for green, one for red, and one for blue. All of the colors we can see are composed of different ratios of blue, red, and green light. Color blindness is caused by a variation of one or more of a person's cones which affects multiple colors in the spectrum. Dogs only have two cones, one for green and one for blue light. Butterflies have five cones, meaning they have red, green, and blue, but they also have two more cones for which we don't have names because we can't detect those colors. Well, the mantis shrimp has 12 cones in total, so the world they see is so much different from ours to the point that it's hard to imagine. Their eyes can detect cancer and neuron activity based on studies that have been done. They can also see colors that for us are just outside our range of vision, being ultraviolet and infrared. As far as we know, the mantis shrimp has the most unique eyes in the animal kingdom. Outside of the wide color range, they also have fantastic depth perception, which helps them know when to strike prey. They also have the ability to see the difference between vertically and horizontally polarized light, which helps them navigate and communicate better. Mantis shrimps have a complex compound eye, which is an eye consisting of an array of smaller units. The eye is divided into a midband, two hemispheres on the top and bottom, and three pupils referred to as pseudopupils. As with all compound eyes, the resolution is very poor compared to what humans are used to, but blurred vision is sufficient for them. The two hemispheres only have blue and green light cones and receptors for polarized light and ultraviolet. The midband has an extremely narrow field of view, but it contains all of the cones for all the rest of the colors. Outside of the composition of it, they also can move their eyes in a very complex manner. They have three axes to move their eyes along, referred to as the torsion, yaw, and pitch. These axes have 90 degrees or greater of movement, meaning they have a vast range of eye motion. There are two main species types in the mantis shrimp family. There are smashers with calcified forelimbs comprised of a bone-like material that they use like fists. And there are also spearers, which have sharp forelimbs for stabbing. Regardless of the type, they attack by lunging their arms forward at a staggering velocity. In fact, they can accelerate their arms at the same velocity as a 22 rifle. They can attack with 1500 newtons of force in less than 3 thousandths of a second. To put that into perspective, if humans could accelerate our arms at one tenth of that speed, then we could throw a baseball into orbit. That force is the same as a 340 pound object falling directly on its prey. This sheer speed of attack causes water to boil around their arms, a phenomenon known as supercavitation. When the formed vacuum bubble bursts, it creates an undersea shockwave that can kill prey even if the mantis shrimp misses it. Supercavitation produces temperatures of several thousands of degrees Kelvin that can emit light in a process known as sonoluminescence. The mantis shrimp's diet varies depending on the type. Smashers will typically eat creatures with hard exteriors like clams, snails, and small crustaceans, which they have no problem breaking open, whereas spearers tend to go for soft creatures like worms, squid, and fish. Mantis shrimp species live all around the world in tropical and subtropical waters. They live in burrows they create on the ocean floor. Smashers will burrow in harder materials like coral or gravel. Spearers will burrow into the soft sand and wait for an unsuspecting fish to swim by before they lunge and stab them. Mantis shrimp are highly intelligent animals that exhibit complex social behaviors including ritualized fighting patterns, interacting with neighboring mantis shrimp, and bonding in lifelong relationships. They can also recognize other mantis shrimp they have met before and show different examples of retaining learned information. The fluorescent markings on their bodies are used to attract mating partners. Some mantis shrimps will mate with various partners, but most will mate with their partners lifelong. 
Females lay hundreds of eggs at a time and hide them under their tails or in a burrow. Both males and females will help protect the eggs, which will spend three months as a plankton upon hatching. The mantis shrimp has a few predators, including humans, sharks, manta rays, and sometimes large fish. There is no significant threat to the mantis shrimp population, and as such, they are of little to no concern of becoming an endangered or threatened species. They are quite abundant around the world and are eaten in several cuisines in some places. In Hawaii, contaminated water has led to cases of mantis shrimp growing to unnaturally large sizes. Mantis shrimp are notoriously difficult to keep in captivity for two main reasons. They will kill almost anything they are put in a tank with and can break regular aquarium glass so they need special containers for them. The mantis shrimp is an incredibly beautiful, unique, and interesting species that live all around the world in our oceans. If you enjoyed this video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button for more video essays like this one. Leave a like and comment what you would like to see next. Many of my video ideas have already been suggested by viewers. I am so grateful for your continued support. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something.